My name's John Hardy. I'm a consultant knee surgeon in London and Bristol. I've got two things to show you. The first is a patient with a two-year history of swelling above her kneecap. Uh, this was associated with a lot of pain, and until we dealt with this, uh, she found it really very uncomfortable to have this persistent swelling, difficult to bend the knee. You'll see where the red arrow comes in just here. That's the uh, slice of the MRI scan that shows the fluid in the suprapatellar patch. Now, whenever you see this, you know that the suprapatellar plica is intact. You can have a look at the fluid in front of the femur, above the patella, on this axial slice of the MRI scan. Again, I'll highlight that with the red arrow, which shows all of this fluid in the suprapatellar pouch. There it is. Fluid shows up white on this fat-suppressed image. So what I'm going to do is um, show you arthroscopically how to deal with this suprapatellar plica that's causing all the fluid to be retained above her kneecap. Here's the wall of tissue we call a suprapatellar plica. The other thing I'm going to show you today is Super Multivac 50. This is the new ambient Super Multivac wand. It's a radio frequency wand. Now, if you tried to put a shaver up against this tissue, you'd find it very hard going, very difficult when it's distended like this with fluid in the knee joint. The other problem with the shaver is it's quite hard to control how much tissue gets sucked into the shaver. And as you'll see, it is a useful tool. It's very good at volume removal once you've got control of the situation. And this ambient Super Multivac allows you to do that. There it is, the new wand. It's got a thermocouple at the tip, so we know exactly what the temperature is at the tip. And there you are. You can see when I'm using it, the uh, temperature never goes above body temperature. I've got it f uh, set to 45 degrees there, so that it alarms if it gets hot within the joint or at the tip of the probe. and never does that. Uh, this radio frequency uh, kit is very, very easy to control the temperature at the tip of the wand. It's been great using the new ambient uh, uh, Super Multivac because it just reassures me that that tip, that uh, radio frequency tip, isn't getting too hot. A lot of tissue in the Super Patella pouch, and you'll see the way to deal with this extra tissue is to use uh, a shaver. This is the Smith & Nephew shaver I use, and it's the Incisor Plus. So there we are, the Super Multivac 50, opening up this big sheet of tissue, which most people break down in their lives. And uh, funnily enough, long-distance runners, long-distance cyclists get a big problem if they've got a persistent Super Patella And I think it causes secondary problems uh, with the knee joint. Here we are now using the Smith & Nephew shaver. Great bit of kit for volume removal. You've just got to be careful you're not sucking in bits of the uh, muscle in the suprapatellar region and anything else. And then finally, I'll use the Super Multivac just to seal off the tissue so that you don't get any postoperative bleeding. Postoperative bleeding uh, accounts for a lot of slow recovery after knee keyhole surgery. And so if you seal off all those little bleeding vessels like that with a super multivac, the patient recovers very quickly. You don't get these little bands of adhesion as well. I hope that's been helpful. Think about uh, when you're doing this sort of surgery, the new ambient super multivac 50 from Arthracare. Thanks for watching.